everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So I hope that you uh, enjoy this video. I'm just going to show you some hodgepodge of some uh, yarns that I got a couple different places um, and a couple other things. Um, I do, though, hope you watch this video to the end. And if you like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So first up, I was going to show you a few new yarns that I got from a, they're just like small orders that I got from a couple different companies. Um, and then I have a couple other things to show you as well. So I got these two yarns from Little Knits that I got. Um, I got this, uh, it's called Elizabeth Lavode Luscious, Luscious Llama, Pure Luxurious Baby Llama. It's very, very soft and it is my color, brown. And yes, I do have a tutorial for this hat. Um, it's called my Stitch Sampler Beanie. You'll find it underneath my hat playlist. Anyways, isn't that beautiful? So this is a bulky five weight. Um, they have it in other colors, but I think they all lean towards the brown spectrum. Well, let's check it out real quick. Yeah, they're all, uh, uh, there's a green, like an avocado green. And the rest are like just kind of different colors of brown. Now these are regular $21 a hank, but at Little Nits they're $9.45. So, you know, that's over half off. Or you could buy a five pack for even cheaper, five of them for $36.75. Um, and there are 100 meters, 109 yards. Now you have to remember that is a bulky five. So 109 yards of a bulky five goes further than 109 yards of a full weight. But there we go. That's a nice bulky, nice bulky. So it's so soft and it's so scarpable. I plan on making a cardigan this year with this. Okay. So I got that and then I got one more thing from Little Knits to show you here. This is Malabrigo. Malabrigo. I love Malabrigo a lot. Um, all kinds of it. Now this is their Malabrigo 100% uh, Pima cotton Malabrigo. It's called their Verano yarn and that is their Pima cotton. It's super nice and super soft. But then again, I love Pima cotton. It's my favorite of all cottons. The color is called Sunspot or color 907. It is a um, worsted DK is what they're classifying that as. So there we go. Isn't that color pretty? It's really a uh, tonal, tonal orange. Um, let's look at the yardage. Uh -huh, or 205 yards or 185 meters nice so i got enough of this to make my girl a dress my daughter in this color and then i got one hank of this to border the bottom of her dress and then i like to do that or the sleeves maybe or if i decide to go around the collar I like to have one hank of like a, a white or something like this. This one's actually called natural. So it's a bit of an off-white. Not not real bad, but I think they work well together. So that will be a, a dress for my daughter. I don't know if I'll do a for it or not, but that's what I'm going to do for her. So that's what I got from Little Miss. And then I got some yarn from Pleta Yarn. Um, which is located in Bulgaria. Now, I only got one yarn from them, but it is my favorite that they have. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, they sell a lot of Stinley yarn. Stinley is a very good brand of yarn. This is my favorite Stinley cake that they sell, okay? And they didn't have it for quite some time. I had only had two of the colors, and the rest were all sold. They were sold out for a long time, but they finally got them in. So, um, isn't that pretty? So this is Stinley Silk Candy is what it's called. It is 400 grams, 900 meters, so close to a thousand yards of a cotton silk blend. Now I have made two shawls out of this and I thought it was very, very nice to work with both times that I used it. Because, like I said, I, I only got had two cakes of it and then they just sold out for a long time. Um, the weight-wise, though, that's what it is. It's probably in between a two and a three weight, I would say. Let's look at that here. What do you guys think? 
Anyways, it wasn't, since I don't work do well with thin wet yarns, but I didn't really have no trouble with that one. I thought it looked, you know, push, it's probably pushing a three weight. It's very, very pretty. So I got this purple color, um, which is color 3781. This is kind of purple to pink to white. They all ended in, well, no, they don't all end in white. I can't say that. And then I got this beautiful blue. It's this blue to white. Fade. It does have a nice transitional fade. And then I got this one. Um, which is very, very pretty. It's like a mauve Victorian, Victorian pink, white to gray. Really like that one a lot. And this one I really, really love too. It is very golden yellow in the middle. Down to slowly fades to a brighter and then ends in a white. Um, here's a shawl that I made with one before. I do have a tutorial for this. This is my Annabelle shawl. You can find it on my on my YouTube channel. This is made with the same cake, only a pink. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's... Uh, this is a, an entire cake. They have this pink one on there as well. Isn't that pretty? The fade, the fade is very, very nice. So... Yeah, I like this yarn. It feels good too. So out of all the Stinley cakes that they make, the Silk Candy is by far my favorite. And I like a lot of Stinley cakes, but none of them can beat that one. I really, really like it. Um, it, it is a little bit, it is the most expensive, I think, of the Stinley cakes. Of course it is, <laughs> when you know it. Um, it is $28.60 US dollars. But then again, that's not real bad if you think about I got one, I got a nice size shawl here out of one entire cake. I mean, it's past my wingspan. So, and if you think about the price of some of them cakes, like Hobby and, and all them, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, about right, you know, it's about right with them, I guess. So, it's beautiful too. It's soft. So, I got those. So, those will probably be some type of shawl, uh, eventually, either triangle or half moon or crescent or whatever maybe asymmetrical could be a wrap i don't know eventually it'll be something i can't get that tied up okay then i got that okay um something else i want to show you i got <laughs> someone asked me if i would do a review on these right have you guys seen these these are the wobbles woobles woobles i think that's what you say it's like these crochet kits right and it's supposed to teach you if you've never ever crocheted before, never even picked up a hook, it's supposed to teach you how to crochet whatever stuffed animal you purchase, you know? So I bought uh, three of these, right? Because I was going to do a yarn review on them. These are $30 a piece. Um, it comes with the yarn, an instructional video, um, a hook, the stuffing, the eyes, the yarn needle. Um... And it says time to complete would be three to eight hours. Okay. Um, now remember, this is this is not open or anything, but I did have two more. And it, like I said, it's supposed to be like if you've never even picked up a piece of yarn or a hook or anything, you w should be able to do this. Well, I had my oldest son do it, who was 18, and he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He tried. He gave it his best shot with like a whale or something. I can't remember. And he couldn't do it. So I had another one. I think it was a penguin. And I gave it to my 14-year-old son. Neither one of them have ever, ever crocheted before. He couldn't do it either. I do appreciate, though, they they, they, you know, they put in a valiant effort. Um, they both tried very hard. Um, but they couldn't do it. So I decided not to review it because... I don't want to give any, you know, I don't want to give anybody a bad review, but I did have two people that could not crochet, and neither one of them could even really get past the first row. So, um, they tried. Um, so, I just, I didn't do it. Um, I didn't make this or anything, because I'm sure that I could probably do it. You know, I'm a crocheter, I'm sure, certain I could do it. But, I just kept it unopened, you know. But, yeah, um, they weren't able to do it. So, I can't tell you if it's worth $30. A lot of people ask. Does seem, you know, it does come with, like, like the stuff you need. 
But the animal, stuffed animal is like super small when you're done making it. But I think it's meant more to teach you how to crochet. And it didn't teach my sons anything. But Bag o Day could teach them. Anyways, I got that. Oh, oh, I got something super special to show you real quick. Look what I got. It's a Mary Maxim Afghan kit. And it's mine. It's mine. It's new. Today is 7-20-2023. This is mine. It's my first Afghan kit on Mary Maxim. It's called Beauty Runs Deep. So this is my design right here. And this is my pattern. They kit it, put it in a kit. So, uh, let's see. They have it available in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different color uh, combos that you can choose from. It is so pretty. I love it. Um, and I'm just really excited to see. It's cool. They have other, other of my things on there too, but it's super cool to see my stuff on there. I don't know why it just is. I really like Mary Maxim, so that's what it looks like. And now remember, this is designed by Betty Crochet. It's unreal to see, like, when I look on their site and it, I see myself on there modeling, like, a cardigan or something that I made. It's just unreal. It is. It doesn't seem real, but... So, yeah, that's my design right there. And this is my written pattern. So... Yeah, yeah. Printed with permission, a bag of day crochet. I'm super stoked about it. I am. So these are $49.99 on Mary Maxim's website. Right now, they are. They got a free shipping code too, I've seen. Well, today i seen it. So these come with Mary Maxim's uh, value yarn, which I've said before is, it's better than Red Heart Super Saver, like as for the basic acrylic. I give it like a Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn uh, feel or Red Heart with love. Um, I got three of the blue. This one is the blue one. So it comes with three of the blue. They're kind of like a cornflower blue color. Three of the off-white and two of the taupey color ones. So, and then you get the pattern as well. How exciting is that? Go check out Mary Maxim for the other stuff they have on there of mine. But yes, this is my first Afghan on Mary Max. I'm back with this Afghan kit. Well, one. Hopefully more though. Hopefully more. Then hopefully this is just the beginning. <laughs> it's so cool. So that's my that one is Bag of Days. And then I got um another one here. This isn't mine. I wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> this is called the Counterpoint Throw. Designed by Joyce Lewis. Isn't that pretty? So it's like granny squares. Those are beautiful. And it's made with this uh, sparkly glimmer yarn. Starlit. Uh, no, Mary Maxim Glimmer. It's uh, a gold color with gold uh, sequins running through it. I think that is so pretty. There are other colors of that one you can get too as well. The counterpoint throw. Um, a bunch of different sparkle colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve different colors you can get with this. But I went with the gold. I think it's very pretty. Makes a 48 by 60 throw. Isn't that beautiful? So this one is $49.99 um, right now at the making of the video. So yeah, I'm going to show you mine one more time. <laughs> mine makes a 46 by 58 inch throw. Of course, you know that can always vary from person to person. Oh, it's just the beginning for Bagua Day Afghan kids. Hopefully. 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 All right. Um, now I'm going to show you. That's the yarn that I, I wanted to show you. I want to show you a few things that I have got. I have got in the mail. Okay. Remember I did the Afghan kit uh, auction for animal rescue. Well, this one came late, so I didn't get to auction it off, but it's super, super adorbs. Um, this is gnomes. Look at this. Although it's small, it's smaller ones. Look at this. Isn't 
Isn't that cute? That is so cute. So it's like, a, you can see the butterflies and the bees. And these were flowers were embroidered on after the fact. This is like wrap crochet, so it took a little while. And she actually shipped it in time, but the postal service, for some reason, took forever for it to get here. And she doesn't even live too far from me. So it didn't make it on time for the auction. But this was made by um, Jeannie from Jeannie's Crochet Creations. She has a YouTube channel if you want to check her out. Like I said, it's small. I think it would make it a little nice wall hanging or like a newborn size blanket but i think it's super super cute isn't it that is so stinking cute but then again if you know anything about me i'm super obsessed with gnomes it's like a healthy un i mean unhealthy obs <laughs> unhealthy obsession with gnomes so Jeannie, if you're watching you did a wonderful job on this i'm just uh sorry that it didn't make it on time for the auction what a shame because i'm sure that it would have went well um because it's a beautiful piece you did a wonderful job okay um okay and then i don't know if i showed you this or not but i got this sent to me by somebody they don't usually like to tell who who sent it so i'm not going to but this is from Four Rivers Yarn and Fibers. It's an Etsy shop, I guess. Wool Lamina on Etsy. There you go. It is hand wash. I probably can't, or hand dyed. I can't say that one. I never can. That's the type of yarn, a uh, wool it is. Um, it's a four weight super wash, 196 yards. That's beautiful. You know, I might have to make a hat out of that. That's gorgeous. Look at that one. But it also, um, no, this one's different. This was from that yarn company. I'm going to set this over here. And then I have, this came, these came from the same person. These came from Bad Sheep Yarn, um, hand dyed in North Pole, Alaska. 100% Superwash Reno, 218 yards, Bad Sheep Yarn Company. The color is called Bourbon. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that is one, that is one pretty brown. Like a, yeah, it, I don't drink liquor, but I do know what Bourbon, the color of it, I think that's a very appropriate name. That is gorgeous. So special thanks to who sent that. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. It actually came a little while ago. Some of um, I just, uh, um, haven't got around to it. Then I got, um, a couple, let's see, this from one person here as well. This, uh, came from Thriss. She sent it to me from Thriss, Thriss and Stitches. Please check her out. She's such a beautiful woman and she's such a great yarn dyer. But anyways, I had mentioned this, she sent me this a while ago too, but, um, I had mentioned that I was one, I was looking for this ice yarn in purple and at the, the Rockstar. And at the time they didn't have it. Well, she got it and sent it to me. So I thought that was so nice because I was going to make some a shawl with bobbles that I wanted to look like grapes. And I said, no, I needed only purple would work. And she found it and she sent it to me. So thank you very much, Thriss. Like I said, she did send this a while ago. Um, and I just now i'm showing you i'm sorry about that thrist um thank you very much for that but the rock star yarn is absolutely beautiful and that purple is to die for that's gonna make a pretty shawl isn't it she actually sent me two packs very nice very nice and then she also sent me these because she obviously know knows about my unhealthy yarn obsession or gnome obsession because <laughs> she sent me these bags which are so cute Look at them. They have gnomes, like bee gnomes on them. Um, so these bags, uh, I have this one. It's like a set of three. This one. And then this one's kind of a gather up there. And then a tiny one here. They all kind of go together. Now these were made by... Um, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. Now, she has a YouTube channel. Also, I recommend you checking her out. 
And it does say that you can machine wash and tumble dry. That's a nice job you did on those, Bridget. Got a nice little tag on them. I like the beads here. Beautiful. And thank you, Thrifts, for thinking of me and knowing that I love gnomes. <laughs> I really, really do. So I got those from Thrifts as, as well as these. These came... Oh, look, it's lined on the inside. I didn't even notice that. Look at that. It's lined with beautiful butterflies. That's so pretty. I wonder if it's reversible. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is. I didn't even notice that until now. Bridget, wonderful job on these. And Thrist, thank you so much. I love both sides of it. The gnomes are adorable, but these are like my colors. So I could you carry this around. Um, like this would be like a summer one and then you could flip it inside out and this looks more like fall time i guess i know it's butterflies but the colors look kind of folly don't they oh, that's wonderful yeah these are all reversible excellent job i can't say that enough bridget beautiful work and thank you again thrift for thinking of me i love those i do I don't know why I didn't notice they were, were reversible at first until I was getting ready to fold it up. And I'm like, oh, it's lined. And then I'm like, oh, it's reversible. That's even cooler, man. That's awesome. Beautiful. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so, oh, and I was going to show you one thing. I'm losing my shawl. No, my Annabelle shawl. Okay. I was going to show you I'm starting a poncho. Today's the 20th, um, today, using this yarn here. Isn't that beautiful? These are the, uh, Millen, um, alpaca cakes that I got from Hershner's. Those are to die for. Look at that beautiful color. So I already know it's going to be a, a type of a cable poncho, but it's going to be easy cables. I promise. I love cables and I already have a cable stitch poncho, but I'm going to make this one the cable's a little smaller, and they're going to be a bit different than, than that one. So it won't be the same. But, uh, yes, it's going to be beautiful in that, isn't it? I don't know if one cake will be enough, but I brought I got two of the same just in case. One's not enough. I can't remember the yardage on these. Maybe 900 or 1,000. I don't remember. I'll probably need a part of another one. But that's fine because I'll start dark, and then I'll, I'll finish out the cake in light. And then I'll probably need a little bit more and what, what it'll finish it out in the dark, I would imagine. I can picture it in my head going by how much off yardage that I think I'll need. I would imagine I'll probably use the dark. It'll probably finish in the dark of the second cake. I can always put fringe on it as well to finish the whole cake out. But we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm starting to poncho on that. And then I have a hat a design that I want to make. I was going to use this uh, Lucky Tweed um, that I got. It's 100% Merino. It's beautiful. But I might use this one instead, the one I showed you that I got gifted. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. But I have the hat in mind that I'm going to use. All right. If you're still with me after 23 minutes, um, I appreciate it. And... I am going to give away some stuff. Now, I'm not putting giveaway in the title. And nor and please don't mention giveaway in the comments, okay? Because sometimes when I write giveaway in the title, you know, people don't watch my video. They don't really care about the video. They only want to enter the giveaway. Whatever. But sometimes I like to reward people that actually really like my content. <laughs> and actually watch the whole video. So, I got some stuff I want to give away. First off... You will win my new Afghan kit bag. Of, I'm so proud of this. I don't know why because I just take it such a like in the Mary Maxim's Afghan kits over since I did the charity auction. And I never in a million years thought that I would ever have any kits on there, let alone an Afghan kit now. I'm so stoked. I love it. I get it. Like I said, I buy my own kits to support myself. Because <laughs> I'm so lame. No, so you'll win this one with blue, which is very pretty. Blue taupe in 
kind of like off-white. Well, you can make that. It's easy too. And then you will win this afghan kit, which is gorgeous. Oh, the granny square one. It's a gold sparkle. This one isn't my kit, but it is a beautiful afghan. And remember, it's uh, designed by Joyce Lewis, so this would be her pattern. You'll win that. So two afghan kits you'll win. That's not it, though. Also in the wobble, wobble, wobble. Maybe you guys know someone who can do it. If you have a child that's trying to learn, maybe they can do it. Or if you have a grandchild, or maybe if you just want to do it yourself for fun, you can do it. Because, like I said, I got three of these. My boys couldn't do it. I'm not going to review it because... What am I going to say? My boys couldn't do it. That's all. They couldn't do it. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. But... If you have someone, if you want, have, if you've seen these, they've been all over the, well, they're always all over my Instagram and Facebook and, and YouTube and everything, ads and whatnot. Um, if you've seen them, this is, your, you know, I'm going to throw this in there. It's good for the beginners and I'm certainly, it's fun for the advanced as well. This is the dinosaur one. He's got little spikes on his back. So that goes in there. Um, what else was I going to put in there? Oh. I have two more things here from Mary Maxim. These are mystery bags. I'm not going to show you what's in them. These aren't the ones that I just opened. These are the ones I opened um, a while ago. But I will tell you, this was, I opened these when they actually used to put more yarn in their mystery ba bags. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know. I can't tell. 20 balls, maybe. 20. But anyways, they're both exactly the same. Quick look. Um, and so you have double the amount of yarn. That They are exactly, they have the exact same yarns in them. Except for one of them doesn't have the patterns in them. Because the patterns were the same. So I kept, I took them out to give to someone else. Because they were the exact same patterns in both of them. Um, but the yarn is all the same. So you'll have, you'll win these two mystery bags, which I will not show you. Both the same. You will win the Wooble Kit, Wobble, Wooble, whatever he is, Dinosaur. I'm going to take the shawl because it keeps falling off of me. It keeps falling off. You will win this beautiful Afghan kit. If you don't want to make the Afghan, remember, there's a lot of yarn in there you can use to make whatever you want. And you will win Mitten Bag with his very first Afghan kit. Do you know today, 7-20-2023, this just went on their site today. It just went on their site today. Maybe you'll be the first to get it. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I have it. But my intention is for it to give it away. So, yes. And you'll win this. This is the best of the bunch, right? No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So that's what you'll win. Two Afghan kits. And if you don't want to make that Afghan, there's plenty of yarn there for you to make something else with. It is a pretty Afghan, though. So you win two Afghan kits, the Wooble, and then two May Massive Mystery Bags, which I'm not going to show you, but they are both the same. So what you have to do to enter is, um, hopefully you watch this video from start to finish. You need to read the rules in the description box, and you need to leave a comment in the comment section, but it has to be something specific. You cannot say the word giveaway in it at all, or anything like that, or I'll delete it, because we don't want other people that didn't watch the video. This is for my loyal loyal friends on here who at, like to watch my videos. I want you to just kind of nonchalantly mention something about uh, um, oh shoot how can we do this? Make sure you're subscribed to my video, subscribe to my channel and you like this video but in the comments just kind of nonchalantly say something about um um, my Afghan kit. Okay, how about that? Just whatever, whatever. I don't care what you say. Just have the word Afghan kit in it. Okay, and then we'll then you'll be entered. Because those people that didn't watch to the end, they're probably not going to say anything about Bagua Day's Afghan kit. More than likely not. But anyways, that way you I'll know that you watched the video, and that's what you will win. 
when your name gets picked. Remember, if you look in the rules, it'll, uh, in the description box, it'll tell you when it ends and when I'm going to draw. This is our secret giveaway. So, don't say anything about giveaway and just kind of nonchalantly say whatever you want, but just mention something about Afghan kit. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go. I tied your head off for 30 minutes, but I sure do like talking to you guys. So, I will see you on my next video, okay? Sorry I have allergy today. Super, super bad. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart and get some medicine because I am out. I need some Claritin D. So, I'm going to head there and I'll see you guys, um, I'm sure, tomorrow on my video, next video, okay? Bye. Take care.